Our total is 10 grandchildren. I got a wonderful family here now. That's, uh, that's why I, I love that family. All the time is with me all together. Before my, my transplant, all together I got 35 cats. That's a lot. That was terrible because I can't work, I can do nothing, I can't hold any more the, the pain. It was in the U.S. when they taught me I need a new heart. And you think and think what you did wrong. What happened? I'm going to stay here? Be alive? And the doctor Lamb, she worked a lot, a lot, a lot to find me a new heart. And then she find it. And that was at the first of March. When I wake up, it was March 4. After that, it was a Sunday, I remember. They took the, the two of our my mouth. They tried to get me up and sit down on the, uh, the chair. And I uh, told the nurse, no, I'm going to walk. And I sit down, walk. I forced myself because, like I say, see, you stay in the bed. It's not good. This is my new life. I not going I no got no pain, no nothing. That that new life forgive me is hard. Because you my wife Luisa, so she pushed me. Pushed me up. Helped me a lot. I'm here. Thank God, her. Thank God, my wife. She pushed me. No, oh, get up, get up. And that's why I love this family. I talk to myself. Talk to my dog. <laughs> And I told my dog, let's go. We need to walk or we go outside. Let's go try to do something. I don't ask for no for nobody because I need to fight and learn to learn how to live with my new heart and live for my grandkids. So I'm here like uh, my sergeant in the army all the time said, run for your life. So I keep running, I'm still there.